I, I think the girl right here on this side of me, you know, was throwing BBs today. I mean, she had good location. <laughs> she, she was really bringing it. Um, she did what she had to do, and, and you're exactly right. We knew they were going to come in. They were going to attack. They are a great offensive team. I think they had a couple girls in the lineup of double-digit home runs. And uh, so we knew we had to, uh, <clears throat> you know, we had to make the plays behind Jada. And I, I think after that first inning, we had a little, a little bit of a rocky start, that first inning. But our kids battled back with, with the bases loaded and nobody out. And so I think defensively, as a, as a coach, you're as proud as every one of them. And, and so I think, I think Jada's the one that... Uh, did they stymie their offense? Jada, that first inning, they blow the bases, nobody out. Well, <laughs> um, it's a little nerve wracking at first, but um, I just had to calm down and focus and had to help my team get out of it because I wanted to be the first per people to put runs on the board, and not them. Was there anything in the scouting report where you thought you could get, get some hits off these people? I mean, they hadn't given up a whole lot of runs. You know, was that something you thought, if you were aggressive, you could do? We knew that they had decent speed, but it wasn't going to be, like, overpowering. So I think that we all had confidence that we would be able to, like, catch up with the ball. And as long as we were seeing it, we'd hit it. And I think our coaches prepared us really well for what was coming, and they helped us out tremendously since they got to go watch the game. In the scouting report or what ways? In the, yeah, the scouting report of the other team, yeah. You were, you were able to really get things going there in the third inning with um, your RBI, and you guys just pulled away, obviously, at that point. That was kind of the game. Was there something about Casey's pitches that you know appealed to you today, or you know, was it something that she was placed in just a place that you wanted to be? Yeah, I, I'm not one that's too picky at the plate. If it's like near me, I usually swing most of the time. So like, it was just, it was right there in a good spot. And it, I mean, there wouldn't have been any RBIs to get if the other girls wouldn't have gone on. So you got to give them a lot of that credit too, hitting and walking. They did well. Despite having that sizable lead, did you feel like you were in a good place knowing Windsor was just as apt to potentially come back and put a lot of runs on the board? Yeah, that last inning, I kind of, they got that hit when, with two outs, and I'm like, oh no. And then I'm like, wait, you know, we're, we have enough, you know, if they score one or two here, we have to get one out before they score, you know, eight or nine runs. So I thought the odds of that inning were a little in our favor. Yeah, Coach, your last uh, four ball games now, only two runs allowed. You know, this late in the tournament, that that's remarkable. Well, yeah, I mean, again, it, it's it's Jada throwing and it's core catching and it's the the kids playing behind them uh, in defense and and you know you just got to I, I can't say enough about Coach Perkins because Coach Perkins works really hard with Jada and and with Cora and like I've said, uh, he, uh, he they're clicking and, and it's just a really great feeling, but uh, to, to come out. And, and again, attack the ball like we did today, coming off of the regional tournament. That's, that's just outstanding. Growing up and watching freshman softball have success like you guys did now, it's your turn to play on this stage. What does it mean to you to play on this stage and then get a win and earn a chance to play Saturday? Um, actually, growing up and seeing all this go on and being at every game, it's a big difference when you're out on the field. It's awesome looking up in the stands and seeing all your family and your community behind you and knowing my sister got to do this in 11 and her playing Strasburg Franklin in the championship that makes me want to come back and just get it more. I would say same kind of thing with watching your family a lot of my cousins like over half of either you know got to regional state like pretty far in the tournament my cousin Allie coached she never played but she coached I think five times down here and so it's just kind of like I want to be better than them so you want to you know get just that little bit further so you can have bragging rights I I don't know I guess I when I was little my dad's the AD at Crestview so he always drove the bus for the girls down here and I'd always be the little bus girl <laughs> with coach's daughter Kristen and we'd annoy the players and we wouldn't realize kind of what they were playing for and all the stakes but it's gotten me here and it's got like all of that that has given me motivation to be where I am right now so I thank all the players who've been here before for that.
Sydney, um, you couldn't miss the ball, it seemed like, tonight. Uh, you know, a homer shy of the cycle. You just you found the gaps everywhere. You know, what was going, your, going through your head, you know, going up there? I don't know. I guess I think she just gave me the pitches that I wanted, and I think that she kind of – I lucked out, and she did it on the pitches she gave me because she gave them me right where I wanted them. All right, you did the, the small ball thing kind of early. You kind of bunted, you tried to steal, and didn't get any runs, and then you throw seven on them. You know, was that just how it worked out, or did you say, let's be a little more aggressive? And go for well, uh, yeah, we've been aggressive all year, and I knew they had a really good catcher. And, and as a coach, I'm one that <clears throat> I want to see. I want to see it early. Mm -hmm. So we tried to steal, and, and I think she showed us early. That <laughs> she was the real deal behind the plate. So you know, um, we, that's that's just us. We try those kind of things, and and uh, but uh, again, I, I don't know. Did we score six runs? I, I don't know how many runs we scored. There was six or seven. I just looked at the scoreboard. Kept saying, seven. I don't think it's enough. But uh, <laughs> uh, you know, the, the two games in the regional, we had one big inning, and 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 that was a nice big inning. I think was it, I don't even was the second inning or third inning. I'm sure. not even sure third inning. So yeah, I mean, from top to bottom. And then when we scored our runs there, and the, the three runs add on there at the end, you know, that was. Uh, five, six, seven, and eight hitters. So, I mean, the top of the order, Brady and, and Jada and, and the core in, in the top of the order for the first seven runs, and the last three is the bottom of the order. And, and so right now, I mean, the kids are getting, I mean, as a coach, I, I don't know what to say. I mean, from, from Cora to Cody, uh, everybody's a threat. Everybody goes to the plate believing. We tell you, you've got to dictate the plate. you got to own the pitcher. You've got to have that mentality. You can't take your last at bat to the to the you know to the dish with you because that one's over. You can't get it back. All you can do is just take make it personal against that pitcher and go out and try to attack. And these girls buy into that and they do it and they do it very very well. You know, there in that third inning, you guys get those seven runs uh, off of Smith, and then you know Waiters comes in and kind of just dominates and you know, strikes out eight of eleven. You know how big was it? I mean obviously you couldn't tell the pitcher no you know what's going to happen, but how big was that? That inning alone, the seven, the the, well, the third inning, yeah, the or the third, yeah, the six or seven runs of third inning. I mean, it was huge because, you know, we knew how good they were going to be. We knew whether it was right-handed or left-handed, they were gonna, you know, they were gonna be right there. So, you know, to dream, it would have been a dream come true, and I, and I guess it was to put seven runs on the board because we were expecting to play a a one nothing two to one ball game because that's just that's the respect. That we had for that for for Rick and his team, and uh, you know you don't come down here undefeated uh, without really having a, a heck of a nice ball club. So it, it was just huge, and, and uh, I know Jada told me earlier today. She said, you know, if you get a couple runs, and I settle down and, and I start really zoning in, and I think she did. So Jada, we got you as many as we could. <laughs> All right, are you happy with it? Oh yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, you know, you mentioned, Jada, in 2011, you know, uh, lost in the state final to Strasburg Franklin. You guys get that chance again on Saturday, you know, a whole new team, and none of you guys have played a state before. Your sister was on that team for, for you individually. Is this kind of some revenge to, to get back from Maddie, your sister? Yes, it is. Um, my sister, we we talked about this, and we, like, just – Plan, planning the future, I guess. We were just talking about all the scenarios, and she really wants this one as much as I do, actually. So, yeah, it's it's going to be a big game, and it's going to be a close game. Shawsburg Franklin is a good ball club. I watched them a little bit today. They're really good, and I'm ready for it. <laughs> Your coach looking forward to Strasburg Franklin. I know the past few times we've talked, you said you you expect this one run ball game, but something you know something happens and, and you know that's not that's not the case. Strasburg Franklin, it, would you say you know with how good they were, you watched them today, you know kind of what what are you looking for for on Saturday? Well, you know they scored their second run, you know playing small ball, sacrifice or uh, trying to squeeze, and uh, Hillsdale didn't really. Uh, execute it like they should um, 
So, uh, Bud and his team, and they're, they're going to come at you in all different a angles. I know this year, uh, more than so ever, they, they hit the long ball. I think they're going to have a couple girls in that lineup that's probably got 10-plus home runs also. But they showed us today or while, while watching that they can score uh, manufacture runs, play small ball, and, and they're solid defensively. I mean, it, 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 it should be a great game. It's going to be kind of like, I think, we playing ourselves, if that makes sense, because they run the bases, uh, they play, you know, solid defense, and, and uh, you know, it's a tradition like no other, I guess.